Yes. What's up? Gang, what's up, Taurus? What's up, Bulls, baby? What's going on in life of a Taurus between the 15th, well, now and the damn 28th of February? <laughs> Taurus, you need to make a decision on which way you want to go. Are we doing so? <laughs> <laughs> to choose money, passion, or love. <laughs> To choose Trina or Mariah Carey. <laughs> decisions, decisions. All right. So this will be for my uh, summer rising Venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Taurus. Hey, boo, hey. If this is your first time you're on my channel, I'm Mocha. <laughs> also, if this is your first time you're on my channel, look out. I cuss. <laughs> All right. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can best resonate with you better. Without cussing, because see me, the way I'm set up, <laughs> I'm going to do that, all right? So with that said, uh, to my new subscribers, you guys, welcome to the family. We don't fight and fuss. We need that shit on other people's channel. But we might cry. We're a little dysfunctional, you know? You know, we don't, we, we, we love, we cuss, we, we share, we evolve, we grow, positive vibes only, okay? And so with that, to my returning subscribers, familia, it's been quite the journey, but we're going to keep trucking through, okay? Like I, you guys... Um, oh yeah, this is just a general, it's not a personal, if you need the personal, that information can be found within the description. I am currently offering emergency readings. I'm offering the rest of them too, but the difference is an emergency reading happens within two hours, or like that, that same day, and um, the rest of the readings don't. They happen the next day. You know, I don't really try to push things further out because if we need answers, we need them now. So, I, that's just, I'm an Aries, so I try to treat everybody accordingly to my own impatience, alright? So, that's it. <laughs> um, you guys take what resonates, leave the rest. Okay, this will be for my summer rising Venus as well as the lovely cross watcher gang gang. Okay, because I'm a cross watcher on my day off. All right, so let's get it. Taurus, intuitively, all right. This could be in your um in your energy or your love interest's energy. This could be in your thoughts, your emotions, your subconscious. But uh, while meditating, the intuitive messages that I did pick up for Taurus was truth. Choosing self, prosperity, new sight, trust issues, life lessons, travel, outside noise, insecurities, catalyst, emotional manipulation, releasing new love, vulnerable mother. Okay, so that's the <clears throat> energy that I did strongly pick up for my Taurians. Okay, the next message comes from your... Or what comes from the Archangel Doreen, um, dark, I never get this shit right, this part, I fuck it up every time. The Archangel Oracle card deck by Doreen Virtue, okay? Your message comes from Archangel Michael. It says you are safe. <coughs> I'm protecting you, and you guys may also be having some issues with your, with your throat chakra, with speaking, with finding the words. Some of you guys may also uh, be prone to sinus infections, or if you go, those of you who deal with any type of asthma or bronchitis, during this time, you really need to protect your energy, watch your health, okay? Because I'm, I, I start having a hard time speaking with you all, as well as with uh, Leo, I believe. All right, so Archangel Michael, I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones. And your home. So there's a sense of you guys not to worry and stress so much about um, the outside noise and the things that are trying to affect your happiness overall right now. And some of you guys are really holding on to things that you really don't need. Spirit is saying you can't turn a damn bag, a, a bag, of, well, a sack of shit into a bag of potatoes. It's not useful to you. You cannot, you can no longer grow from it. You're needing to ascend. Ascent and in ascension, everybody not gonna be happy, everybody not gonna feel you, which is why you got to be your own biggest hurrah in your damn life because everyone's not gonna feel you during this time. And if you can't, if they can't get with the drip, they don't need to take a sip, okay? They come from pimpolations, <laughs> verse two. Uh, chapter two, verse one, okay? Look, nobody got time for that, all right? You can't force things to fit. In places that they don't. I mean, you can, but I'm look, Taurus. You get what the hell I'm saying, all right? So the overall energy around your reading is the Ace of Hearts, okay? So I definitely see either new or renewed love on the horizon, but there's a need to let go of trust issues, let go of fears of commitment, let go of internal blockages of um 
situations possibly held on from uh, or stems from that stem from childhood or some um, some type of issue or trust issue or something around um, women or relationships or the opposite sex when it comes to um, the foundations that was kind of set in fears that were kind of set in that stems from your mother or your relationship with your mother. All right. So let's get it. Spiritual messages of, in love do you have for my Taurians? And they cross watches, gang, gang. <laughs> Some of them rising to Venus um, from now until the 28th of February. Okay, so you guys, you need to know that there is victory, okay? There is victory in working on the situation, okay? Working past um, issues that could possibly, that you feel possibly is affecting the foundations of your relationship. There needs to be some type of truth and clarity during this time. There is going to be some form of truth that comes out. Now, some of you all with this truth, you're going to have to leave something behind and you're going to victoriously move forward. You're going to be victorious in moving forward. For some of you all, it has to do with the job. If you were recently uh, released from your job, I do see you being victorious and finding another job after that release. I feel that you're kind of overthinking things. Some of you guys may be in the energy of self sabotaging, um, speaking negativity into situations, and to be honest with you, that is what's keeping it stuck. For some of you all, you're really indecisive on which way to go when it comes to uh, possibly dealing with the sign of Pisces. I feel that you feel the situation is stagnant and it's not moving, okay? This could be the mother or father of your children. I feel that you really want to nurture, you've been trying to nurture the situation and really push through the negative energies. Um, however, there's a sense of someone just being very obsessive, stalking, um, and just doing all kind of weird shit outside um and I feel like they're even involving outsiders within the relationship, kind of telling people your business, in other words. I definitely feel like some of you guys could also be receiving some type of, having some type of conversation with it. And you're looking for a solution to the situation, whatever this may be. But I feel like you're having some form of communication, possibly with the mother or father of your children that's keeping keeping the situation stagnant because someone needs, someone continuously is defensive, okay? For some of you all, you're kind of being resistant towards putting in efforts uh, in a relationship that you feel has been stagnant, even though your intentions is to see the relationship to grow. This could involve a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could also involve an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. Some of you all have an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo, stalking possibly to see if um, there is someone else outside of the relationship or a third party party that could be pregnant or that uh, something to that extent okay because I feel like for some of you all you feel as if you're not getting the full the full truth nothing but the truth so help you God and for some of you all that truth and clarity is coming for you to move out of out of one cycle into another you're ending cycles and starting other ones and I feel like well, you're internally conflicted by it because you're comfortable with where you have already been um for some of you all a relationship where <clears throat> a re for some of you all Spirit is trying to manifest a beautiful relationship, actual a life partnership. Um, however, someone is releasing is refusing to release um, a karmic partner for some of you all. Okay, for some of you all, you're very internally conflicted when it comes to getting what it is that you want out of situations. You really don't know which way to go, which way is left, which way is right. For some of you all, this is being caused by an Aquarius. I feel that who the hell is not go take y'all ass to bed. Some y'all have been not sleeping because the only thing that you can focus on is what it is that you want to manifest obsessively thinking that that's sabotaging okay for some of you all you're obsessing it to the point where you're not speaking life into these situations but you're you're only focusing on what is the negative outcome of things and that is what we're needing to shift shift your perspective and then you shall see your your, your reality um shift into new directions okay i definitely feel like for some of you all you're in your head about manifesting something new possibly with the leo okay or that damn aquarian but i definitely feel like there is victory Spirit is saying there is victory with moving forward. There is victory, but for some of y'all, you're overstressing about it because it's going to require you to have to leave somebody out in the cold, okay? This could be an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. This could also be fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be any sign because I got a little bit of everybody here. I feel like if you're dealing with an air sign, <clears throat> there's internal conflict because there's not open dialogue being had. There's not um, mature communication that's being had, so... Things are not able to move forward. Either you with this air sign overthinks things, self-sabotages, and really does not give the relationship a chance to truly get to that solid port, that, that solid foundation um, type union, okay, or that, that stable union. For those of you who are dealing with fire, I feel like you, either you or that fire sign is 
Uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius, use that fire sign is internally conflict about actually committing or actually moving forward and offering that level of commitment because you really kind of are stuck in your own ways and really want to have that sense of freedom to yourself. Somebody, uh, if you're dealing with yourself or this fire sign, looks at relationships as bondage or you could they could be connected to someone else um, that they're prevent that they're just not ready to move on from um, in order to for this union to actually get off the ground if this has to do with new love for some of you all it's the opening up the the the, the, the releasing the the releasing of the fears around trusting another person okay that vulnerability aspect that is preventing things from moving forward but i definitely see some form of a secret being revealed especially if this has to do with someone um <clears throat> someone possibly wanting to leave a job okay definitely watch who you tell your business to during this time because let me tell you some everybody ain't your friend and really protect your business ideas because i do see uh some aspect of some form of uh this could be someone who you kind of talk to here and there on and off this person comes and see your life they come back you guys share ideas kind of express where you're trying to go and this person runs off and steal your ideas so be be, be aware of flighty friends and who you take your business to for some of you all, um, I do see if you're dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel that Taurus, a lot of you guys are really not focused on the love aspect. And this could be causing relationship issues for you guys because I feel like your partner feels as if you don't communicate enough. You don't express yourself. They don't really know where you are mentally. And it's really causing emotional discord within your partner because they just really trying to figure out what the fuck are we doing? What the hell, are, which way are we going, Taurus? You know, so you really need to re uh, consider other people other than yourself okay that's my nice way of calling your ass selfish don't be selfish expand your horizons do things differently change is good boo for some of you all this is about healing a relationship that possibly had took a wrong steer okay for some of you all this could have to do with the third party situation but i feel like even with that third party situation this could have to do with someone who you were connecting with with work some of you guys are being given an ultimatum okay either cut this third party off or i'm out the door all right so some of you guys are really having to choose what it is that you really 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 what matters to you the most during this time <clears throat> let's clarify a little bit Spirit, why is the Ace of Swords here with the King of Swords? For some of you all, it's releasing a relationship, focusing on your money. I, don't, I no longer want to be in this union, in this partnership. I'm no longer happy. Yeah. And for some of you all, you're internally conflicted about that. I do feel um, a, resist, uh, a resisting of speaking your truth. Why is the hangman here? For some of you all, you feel stuck and obligated to be in a relationship or not leave someone behind because you have children with the person. Yeah, possibly some y'all in y'all head about reconciling with someone, possibly a Pisces person, okay? Possibly because you have children with that person. I feel like you've been, either this person has been watching you or watching your social media accounts to see if you're reconciling or if you're with someone else or if this relationship can be stabilized. For some of you all, some of you all, you're going into a new cycle and what you're leaving behind is abandonment issues. What you're leaving behind is fears of not being enough, fears of things not really going as planned. You're leaving that fear of or that that particular perception of things behind. Why is the star card here? Damn it. Okay, yeah. For some of you all, you're manifesting love, true love that could possibly be coming in the form of a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you all, it's an Aquarius person. But you're definitely manifesting newness that is going to bring a form of expansion. You're working on yourself. Some of you guys are choosing to leave the relationship behind and just completely work on yourself, okay? For some of you all, in order to get this Ten of Cups here to clarify the Five of Pentacles here, you're going to have to leave someone behind possibly uh, to get that fulfillment, okay, in love. And some of y'all could be leaving a water sign behind. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this could be an earth sign as well, but it's going to be a catalytic situation that possibly comes in the form of a third party, okay? So this is what I do, uh, but I do see ultimately, you guys, there's a renewal happening for some of you all. There's a start over, a reset button, but this is after this form of vulnerability is expressed, okay? So I definitely, this is what I have for you guys for my bull game between now and the 28th of February. You guys comment, let me know how it resonates. If you need a personal reading, hit me up. That information is below in the description okay um i love you all i send you many blessings peace love abundance you guys much love namaste bye babies